Well, and so getting deeper on that whole subject of mission, you mentioned that that's part and parcel of your process in terms of coming up with a way to really make your clients more successful. Um, how, how can we do that? What, how does a company begin to grapple with this issue of having a mission? Yeah, I think as I alluded to in my last um, question, you, you could roughly divide SaaS companies into two types, very roughly. One is, I mean, I've got a client that I'm working with at the moment. They're, they're a physical products company. They've developed a radar system that could potentially reduce road traffic deaths on Earth significantly. So you've got these very mission-oriented companies from the get-go. They have an idea that they think could change the world. You have the other end, which is probably where most of my friends who are founders sit, which is let's play around with a bunch of different ideas and let's see what sticks. And that's a completely valid idea. That's a fun way to approach a business. Hmm. But if you're doing that, you really need to be engaging your customers. I, even the friends I have who are founders, we've now moved away from a um, obviously a waterfall development process to agile. Everybody does some form of agile nowadays. They're looking at getting customer feedback once they've launched their product. What I'm saying is why not do that even before you've launched your product? You know, the pitch that we used to use, which quite a lot of startups use, is before you've even got a beta product, you've got your first framework together. You don't call up and say, hey, I've got a product to sell you. You call up and say, hey, um, I understand you've got this particular problem. Is that correct? Great. I'm building something or I'm trying to build something that I think could help people like you. I'd love to get your feedback. You don't have to give somebody a $20 Amazon gift voucher. You just show a genuine, empathetic, compassionate interest in the problem that they're dealing with. And pretty much anybody, if you sound authentic, will be willing to give up an hour of their time to give you feedback on this problem they have. And you want to sell yourself. And instead of turning up with a basic framework, you've got a buggy beta. And they realize it's actually on its way to being a decent product. Mm -hmm. um, one of my friends launched his uh, CRM for charities um, in this manner. And two to three years later, they're on track for a seven-figure valuation because mm -hmm. they got it in front of customers before the product even existed, just because they empathize with and connected with these charities, talked about the pain points they're experiencing, and they could show them their product before they'd even really coded it. Um, it was just a set of screenshots at one point. Mm 